Hey, Camp Hawks, we, we got something special for you today. We are at the, we're attending the Grand Design Rally. I got fellow Camp Hawks, Randy and Patty. And yeah, they're friends too. Well, he is part time. Back there is uh, Cherion, by the way, for you RVers. And we are at the RV Hall of Fame Museum. Hopefully, I can video when we go in here because this is going to be cool. Been looking forward to this. So, if you ever come to the Grand Design National Rally or any rally here at Elkhart County Fairgrounds, I just spent Elkhart County Fairgrounds. 20 minutes away is the RV Museum. RV and Motorhome Museum. We're going to go in, we're going to check it out. I'm Missy. I'm Mike. And we're in the Camp Check this out. Where are you going, Randy? Let's go for the free display right now. So here in Elkhart County, they got these elk all over the place. Go RVing. Look at that carpet. Travco. A Travco model 320. Look at the bunks here, huh? The dinette and the bunk storage. Seat belts for your bunk. The generator, it has 555 hours on it. That, that is a Look at the old microwave. With a dial timer. That's, here, here you go. Look, they got a food center. What is this? Newtone food center. I wonder what that is. Oh, this is where you put the, the, yes, the blenders right on the, on the counter. Oh, That's mm. what this is. You, it comes Those with it. Yeah, yeah. The blender. The and gear. The, yes. And this, this one. Is it? Oh, cup holder. Cup holder. Isn't that nice? That is neat. Like, why look, that's fourfold. Yeah, and this is Carpet nice. in this the bath. Is nice. It gives you more room to work. Yeah. We got one of ours. We don't. We made me make it. A little light. Oh, yeah. The indicator tank lights. Oh, this is just a closet. Hey. And there's another closet here. What, like one of the first slide outs. For like your clothing. Yeah. Both sides slide out. Both sides slide out. Hmm. And this, is they put this down. Hey, Cape Hawks. Hey, thanks for joining us. Before I get too deep into this video, I want to point out that unfortunately it's dark in this location in the museum. Uh, most of the units are lit up by uh, either a clamp lamp or a table lamp. GoPros do not like low light situations. However, this was the only opportunity I have, or the only camera I could use, that will allow me to get into each unit with the uh, four foot long telescoping pole. 
so I can get you inside of each one of these units uh, that were roped off so you can actually see inside and appreciate oh my goodness the woodwork on the the, the woodwork is amazing in some of these RVs and house cars it's 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 unbelievable how much attention to detail is paid back then to the woodwork and how it's still intact and here we have in our modern day RVs pieces of trim falling off as we go down the road so th this is this is beautiful this whole place is beautiful in the respect that the RV museum is something you got to stop and check out <laughs> Look at the stove on that thing. I wonder if some people probably burn up in that. Ooh. Look at this refrigerator. It probably works better than our Norco. Probably. Oh, wow. A deeper, too. <laughs> like, I could totally see us retaking one of these and redoing it. Oh, that would be so much fun. Ooh, how are you sleeping that? Gracious sakes. Yeah. Yeah. 12-foot travel trailer. Look at that. Now, to get through this whole museum, it's going to take about a good two hours uh, if you take your time, you could re you could really stretch it out to about three hours. It's that fascinating. I probably only videoed about, uh, I say about 40% of the RVs in there. There are so many packed in there. Uh, it's, it's it's you just can't imagine the amount of RVs packed in this little area. But it is so fascinating to walk through this and see all the different units, all the different styles, how how styles have changed throughout the decades to include look at this the plush seating the carpet everywhere <laughs> so you went from all wood to all carpet now nowadays all linoleum and paneling so it's fascinating to go through this i highly encourage you to do it check the woodwork out the woodwork in there is amazing <laughs> Forty-two footer. This is as long as our momentum. Forty-two foot long.
Yeah, put the air in. Hold the, the system tight. Yeah, hold the system tight. Mm -hmm. Well, that and that and what that does too is so you eat know, hooked up to any regular water. Put air in the tank. on the back of this. Hi <laughs> right, guys, what did you think of the uh, RV museum? It was very nice. It's very interesting to see how the progression is, but yet some of the things that we've gone backwards on. Yes. Like there's things in right. those rigs that we would could definitely benefit from now. For example, the counter space. <laughs> exactly, is one big thing. What was the price to get in? We paid twenty two because we were military. They paid $20. ten dollars for seniors. Seniors. I think it's twelve. Anything over normally. sixty. I think it's twelve per person normally. Yeah, twelve per person normally. That's right. Yeah, That's yeah. what I saw. It was ten for our senior citizens. And like it was me and my wife. Self guided. Um, Tour. You don't even have to pay, I guess, if you just want to use the gift shop. Yep. All right, Cable Hawks, that wraps up our visit to the RV Mobile Home Hall of Fame Museum. Subscribe below, ring the bell for notifications, give this video a thumbs up. It's very interesting. If you're in the Elkhart area, highly encourage you to stop by as an RVer to check this place out. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's it was cool. cool. Very cool. Yes. Now it's time to get some lunch. I'm hungry. We're hungry.